So some of the diseases that we've seen early on in the season have been tan spot. We've seen tan spot in three leaf wheat. That's really early to see that disease. And basically what that's going to do is just move up the plant and affect the whole way through. Uh, one of the other diseases that we've seen early on, uh, earlier than usual, would be stripe rust. And that was in the Vulcan area early on as well as McGrath. And that showed up about two to three weeks ago in the winter wheat and then it's just moved its way into the spring wheat. The, the stripe rust they have found down in the U.S. is overwintering further and further north. And what that means to Canadian farmers or wheat farmers is that they're going to see stripe rust earlier in the season that, uh, than we usually do. We typically don't see it till mid-July and we've already seen it three weeks ago. So that, that definitely is dictated by overwintering rust in the uh, Pacific Northwest uh, of the U.S. Um, one of the other diseases that we're, we're seeing um, move in has been Septoria gloom blotch. And Septoria gloom blotch typically moves in into the head a little bit later. And what it looks like is like you've taken the wheat head and kind of run it through a mud puddle. And what those are, those black speckles are pycnidia. And the pycnidia are what are going to be the spores for the next year. And it can cause a discoloration of the grain. And so, um, we're also seeing another discoloration of the grain caused by uh, fusarium head blight. And, and that's one that has been creeping north uh, further and further within Alberta. I believe the furthest north it is, based on the Alberta surveys, has been uh, the Wheatland County, and it is just to the south of uh, the Drumheller area. And so that is, is becoming a serious one that we need to watch as well, um, because it, it's going to cause some serious grade concerns uh, the same way that Septoria gloom blot will. Uh, staging for these different diseases is, is variable. A lot of uh, people will apply a fungicide with their herbicide and that's what we call the T1 timing uh, at Bayer Crop Science. And the T1 timing is, is good if you're seeing disease like I mentioned, the tan spot on that three leaf wheat. It needed a, a, a fungicide. However, it is uh, not a very long, long lived uh, acting control for those disease because what you're you're going to do you're going to see about five to seven days of greening effect and it's going to keep it healthy um, for only that long and you're not going to be protecting the flag leaf or the penultimate leaf and those are the most important plant or leaves out there because you want to make sure you're protecting those leaves because they will do 80 percent of your grain filling capacity there's a carbohydrate exchange between the head and those leaves so you don't want any lesion on there that's going to interrupt photosynthesis and so Typically, we see more applications going at flag leaf and now heading. So the flag leaf applications, if you're seeing disease at that point, uh, you should absolutely spray your fungicide at that point. However, uh, with diseases like septoria gloom blotch and fusarium head blight, we're seeing later infections. You want to make sure that 75% of the heads are out and 50% of them are flowering so you can protect that floret and you're also going to be getting uh, the flag leaf and penultimate leaf as well there and that's just going to protect the, that grain so much better. Mm -hmm.